Guys, before we start, I've been promoting this t-shirt absolutely everywhere because I think you guys are gonna love it. Um, they're now available for purchase. They are super soft, super high quality print. It's not gonna fade in one wash and it won't shrink. This is the first style of many to come for all the cars that we all know and love. This guy's gonna be next. I just gotta think of a, I just gotta create a design for it. Anyway, I'm not gonna send you back in time to where this video begins and I'll join you guys at the end to go for a drive. Cool. So the Corrado has an oil leak and I've actually left the part that I've got inside so I need to go back. Ah, uh, I got a duff. Like I was saying, the Corrado has an oil leak and it started before Santa Pod, but it just keeps getting worse. And it got to the point where, I didn't mention it in the video, but twice people came up to me from the organizers of the event and were telling me that your car's got an oil leak. And I could tell that it was pissing them off because they obviously had to keep cleaning up the track and only went on the track three times and then called it a day because of that. So they were gonna fix an oil leak. Now I'm pretty sure I know where the oil leak is coming from. I do know where the oil leak is coming from. And it's to do with when I, added the aftermarket oil cooler on the original cooler is made of i think it's made of aluminium and if you keep tightening it up replacing seals and things like that eventually the metal bends and i don't know how old the oil cooler is on that so i've bought a new one and this is the thing that we're replacing i've almost got it all the way off just to check that it actually was the thing i was thinking it was but let me just get it out. I mean, it's not heavy at all. You can tell it's thin and flimsy. So I'm pretty sure when you tighten up the bolt that goes through the middle, it warps it, which is why you can't tighten it up too much or too little. And I've actually got the right torque instructions now. So we're gonna be doing it again and we're gonna be trying to do it properly. And someone had recommended to me that if you are changing this seal, you might as well change the entire unit just in case. So here I am six months later changing the unit just in case well not even just in case it's too late it already has leaked oil but let's change it what the hell duffy's seen something you're right duff what's up oh my god that is creepy as fuck there's a cat in there and his eyes are just glowing Come on, we'll get them together. What are you doing? There he goes, there he goes. We got him, Duff. I like cats here, but no one f***s with my Duff. Yeah, this is going to be really difficult to see because last time I had the whole front end off and now I don't. So this isn't going to be the most exciting start to a video ever. I'm just going to be swapping this. There it is, ladies and gents. Okay, we've got three brand new seals along with this brand new unit. I've made sure this time to properly oil everything up so that it actually seats properly. Next up on the list of things to do to the car today is to get the new steering wheel on. So let me get this opened up and I'll show you what I've got. This was a birthday present from Lucy and I just haven't had time to get around to installing it yet, but I think I finally got time today. I love this design. This is the, I think it's the Momo Team and it's the 300 millimeter size. There was the options between 280 and 300 and I wanted the 300 just because I think 280 would just feel a bit too small, but this is gonna feel very, very go-karty because the size of the Corrado wheel on it already, I think it's just too big. It hits my knees, it's awkward to turn corners when you've got a massive wheel, and I think this one feels so good to hold, I can't wait to install it, but you can kind of see the size difference. It's quite a lot smaller. 
To take the steering wheel off, you just pull the horn button out of the way. We should be able to disconnect it from here. I'm not sure what size that is. It's maybe a 17 or 18 millimeter socket. It is a 24 millimeter bolt. Next up is to install the hub adapter. So at the moment, you can see that we've just got a one nut fitting system. And that's obviously not gonna work with our new wheel. So what we need is this, and this is the Momo Boss Kit. These aren't cheap, these are quite expensive, but hopefully it is worth it. They've given me the wrong one. Oh, okay, never mind. We'll come back when I've got the right part. Okay, that was my fault really, but the ad really should have been more clearer. But it turns out that the early Corrados share the same wheel hub size as like the Mark 1 Golfs and the late Corrados are the bigger, bigger holes, bigger splines, whatever you want to call it. And then it's the cover. The weird lippy thing here acts as I think the ground for the horn. All right, I've seen one picture and I am now a horn wiring expert. One goes into that and then that bit goes onto the, where is it, the plate. And then that one plugs into that, I think. The tab on the other side of the new hub needed prying forward a little bit to actually make contact with the new hub. So we're all good. And let me just show you, so you don't think I'm lying. The original black wire goes onto that and then the new green and yellow attaches one to the ring and one to the other one. The metal on metal has to be touching. There we go. It works! So a long time ago, we're probably talking early last year when I first installed the Ram Air filter. I don't know how many of you guys will remember, but I was talking about getting a heat shield made for it and I had a template and everything. Uh, I actually got some metal cut and then the idea just kind of stopped. And then a guy called Alex messaged me on Instagram saying that he has the same air filter as me and he created a heat shield for his, but I think he was selling his air filter now or, or getting a, I think he actually said he was getting an engine swap, so he didn't need this anymore. And this is a one of a kind, custom made or homemade heat shield, specifically for the Corrado VR6 with a Pro Ram air filter. And this is, this is a proper heat shield. You can see that the material is made out of some, something a lot different to what I was gonna use. And it would hopefully do a better job and it's got the right cuttings out where wires, sit through under there and here you know it's got all the soft top padding and everything it's pretty cool so i'm going to install it and see how it fits Mate, that looks loads better, loads more impressive. It actually looks like the filter's sitting there and it's like, it actually looks really beefy. Whereas before the filter was all just kind of flaccid and limp. It actually sits in there really well. It's gonna get loads of cold air from down there, which I will eventually get the little cold feed running down there into the lower grill, which I still need to cut open. And then one day, when I can be bothered, I will be welding this grill onto the side of the wing. So that's just gonna get literally constant flesh air. Fresh air, not flesh air, what am I talking about? I'm so tired. There we have it, the new wheel is in and it feels so good, so much nicer. I'm just hoping it doesn't feel too small because the last one was like out to here and I had no leg room. Just got my hairy legs out for you guys. <laughs> I think there's only one last thing to do and that's to take it for a drive. Nice. I hope that the camera angle is alright because I've never actually done.
I've never done a setup like that before. I keep losing track of time in the video because it's just like one thing after the other. It's now Saturday morning. I don't want to miss that red light. Yeah, it's now Saturday morning. So I'm essentially going out to get breakfast. Whilst I'm recording this, I might as well get some food, make a whole trip out of it. You'd know I had to park it with the spoiler up. It had to be done. I've got my Greggs. I went for a chicken slice and some orange juice. I don't usually go for orange juice, but it was like a last minute paddock because I needed a drink. Which way do I go home? Do I go home through town or do I take the motorway home? Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate all the support. I know you guys will just want to see the golf videos, or 90% of you guys just want to see the golf videos, but you're still sticking around for these ones. I hope so too, because I'm more interested in, in these ones. The golf is fun and everything, but my heart is in this car. Grab yourself one of these t-shirts. Link is in the description. It just really helps me out and it helps it helps the channel out, you know, like more thing. I'll be able to do more things on the channel. And I think it would be really great. This is really hard to turn around with this tiny ass wheel. Alright, that'll do. I'm gonna go open the gate, drive all the way back down. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.